Hello gamers, welcome to a Theory Thursday episode on my channel. Today we'll be exploring airships conquer the skies and generally exploring the question of how altitude affects the effectiveness of our Grenadier class bombers. In theory, the Grenadier class bomber should really be used at its maximum or best or most effective range of their weapons, the grenade, which is a fairly short ranged weapon that has low accuracy, which means that it would probably be best, at least in theory, to use it not at the highest altitude that it can get to, but just above its target. In practice, however, in the games that I've observed, it really feels like the Grenadier class bomber performs worse though when it is at a lower altitude closer to its target than placing it up high uh, where it may have less damage from the target's weaponry. And today we're going to test that theory out. So I've placed, cancel, I've placed this as our test base. This is a what I call the rifle pyramid and it's basically a period a pyramid of rifles uh, all along here and so we've got pretty good coverage and there's a whole bunch of rifles here. I can't exactly remember the number but it's uh, close to 20 close to 20 rifles uh, on this rifle pyramid. And we're gonna add our grenadier Our Grenadier class bomber. And we'll explore by basically, hold on, stop placing. In fact, we'll just add it again. But we'll flip it. And we'll start by sending it close to the target. So we'll go ahead and start. So the Grenadier class bomber, we'll put it right on top of the pyramid and we'll just see how it goes. We'll speed it up. All right, it's been beaten up pretty good here, but still doing tons of damage, even though it landed on top of the uh, pyramid, which is a 900 something cost base. Still throwing out grenades though. <clears throat> All right, it was able to take out the whole pyramid, which is impressive, I think. All right, let's look at the combat stats. Oh, the rifle pyramid did survive, and the bomber was immobile. So they would probably both be sort of destroyed, although I guess this could be repaired. It's not totally destroyed. So let's look at the combat stats. Damage dealt 9,282. Damage received was uh, 3,733, or actually 3,801. Damage taken. So 9,282. Damage dealt and damage taken 3,801. Okay. Let's do that again. Desert, desert day. We'll add the rifle pyramid once again. Stick it pretty close to the back here. Wish we could uh, stick it right there. Then we can go ahead and add our Grenadier class bomber. OK. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and start. I'll pause briefly. And this time, rather than sticking it right up, uh, right above it at low altitude, we're going to put it right up here at high altitude. I will make a change in that we will go from, instead of normal fire, we'll go to aim fire. And then we'll go ahead and speed it up. See how it goes. Same thing happens to All right, defeat this time. So definitely less damage to the rifle pyramid. Combat stats, only 6,000 damage dealt. Damage taken, 4,135. So for sure, using our Grenadier at a high altitude and it's at a far larger height, or I guess distance, is not as effective as putting it at its effective range. And so there you have it. There's the answer. So having the Grenadier at basically at a lower altitude where it's closer to the target will allow it to do significantly more damage in less time. And that does save it from taking more damage uh, ultimately in the, in the long run. And so I think that's a pretty good test and I think that's pretty conclusive. Thanks again so much for watching. If you like this content, please hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. See you in the next one and keep on gaming.